Hey guys, I left this section without editing so you can truly see my excitement prior to making the video. Hello YouTube, how are you? I'm filming this video with new gear that I got. Hopefully you can see the better lighting. Uh, I have a microphone. So I wanted to talk about why did I want to become a physician? For those who don't know me, my name is Dr. Facundo Gonzalez and I'm an emergency physician in New York. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, okay? I think I put out very good content because I do have thousands of views. However, not many people are clicking the actual subscribe button. So please do that, it helps me, it's free. And if you can, like this video, enough of that. Just have to say it. So, initially I got interested in medicine when I was in college, I, it was 2008, I saw a lecture from Howard Hughes Medical Institute where they were talking about the brain, about all these interesting cases, how the brain controlled everything and how these brain injuries were leading to certain characteristics in a person's behavior or memory and I thought that was impressive like I had never been exposed to something so you know interesting so from there that same passion translated into a passion for the whole human body for the anatomy uh, how it functions how it heals itself how it fights infection so with that there's a really cool quote that I like from the movie Patch Adams that says always live in awe of the glorious mechanism of the human body let that be the focus of your studies and not a quest for grades. And I went to eventually medical school and why did I become an emergency physician? So you want to be an emergency physician, maybe that's why you click this video. Thumbs up if you did. Since we are in the topic of telling you why I chose emergency medicine, I thought I'd share this chart that you see here. Feel free to pause the video so you can look at it and go through it. I think it's funny. Now, this is an actual chart that was published in the British Medical Journal uh, by Dr. Boris Weisman. And in my case, you know, medical student crazy, check, attention pan, non-existent, as you may have told, pretty hyperactive, therefore emergency medicine. So go through it yourself. Let me see what you think. Put the comments down below. All right, on to the next. Basically, I personally think is the most well-rounded physician. I think you need to know, like they say, a jack of all trades, master of none. But the part that master of none, I really feel is erroneous because you are actually a master of resuscitation a master of stabilizing patients that are very sick so your mastery is treating the acute kidney injury the diabetic ketoacidosis the respiratory failure so you're a master of emergencies plus you know a lot of other things including dental you know about ophthalmology we do a slit line exams we do ocular ultrasounds we do staining of the eye. We remove foreign bodies with needles under a slit lamp. When dental, we do nerve blocks, uh, many things. You also have to know orthopedics. We have to reduce fracture, put cast on. Uh, you have to know procedures. We intubate, put chest tubes, many things. I can go on and on. So point is that to me, emergency physician is a three-year residency or four-year residency program you know a little bit of everything. Uh, you can stabilize patients, you do a lot of procedures. And let's say you're on the plane and they call, is there a doctor on board? In reality, the doctor that's most capable of caring for those emergencies is an emergency physician. When your family gets sick or there's an accident, accident where do they go? The emergency room. Uh, if you go on the streets, there's an accident. Who comes? the ambulance, the paramedics, and they take them to the emergency room. So that idea always appealed to me, being able to care for multiple people in a short amount of time and doing the most good with the little time that we have in the emergency room. And I think that's a great choice. 
if you're thinking about it do rotate in the specialty sooner to decide if you like it so if you're in third year and there's no emergency rotation in your medical school try to make it an effort to go on the weekends to an ER and rotate etc so if you're thinking about emergency physician and you wanted to look up videos on YouTube and you found this then here it is and I hope it was helpful because I remember when I was considering emergency medicine I was on YouTube looking up what is it like to be an emergency physician and what you know etc basically hours yes they are a little tough you're gonna do nights you're gonna do days you know work in the weekends in the holidays again the ER is 24 7 but again at the end of the day when you become an attending you hopefully be able to work three to four shifts a week and you're done your shifts are over you sign out to the incoming team and you did your part so I hope you find this video helpful and now you know a little bit about why I wanted to become an emergency physician and let me know in the comments below what you think in any questions you have just let me know and one more time like subscribe because I have the views I need the subs and it just helps me uh, justify that at least these videos that I'm doing are doing something to someone thank you so much adios